As part of the Vaquero Lecture Series, UT Brownsville anthropology and sociology professor Antonio Savaleta spoke about the origins of Tejanos and Vaqueros. Probably the most famous of all Tejano, Vaqueros, Chino, Burkina. He fought at Malago, the Sacramento, Palma, the Battle of Pueblo. He was never caught. The, he was such a troublemaker, he was a troublemaker, a hothead. Like we all are, and a troublemaker. <laughs> uh, he won, as the story goes, he rode into Brownsville, downtown Brownsville, Market Square, to see uh, the marshal or one of the deputies kicking one of his workers, one of his vaqueros. And he said, Don't do that. No, don't kick him. Leave that man alone. And there were words exchanged, very much like in the tale of, of uh, Gregorio Cortez. And what happened was, he, was, he ended up shooting that man, didn't kill him, but shot him. And so then he was, he, there was a posse after him and so forth, but because he had, because he wasn't just a poor rural peasant, but that he was a, someone who had some clout, they had a trial and they brought him to, they, they brought him into the city and, and, and found him innocent. He hadn't done anything wrong. But Cortina never could get over the fact that the United States boundary with Mexico was established right along his ranch line. He didn't, he didn't like that. And so whenever he could, he caused problems. And so Juan Cortina, as you see up there, is the only man, only individual, that the United States government declared war against. More than 40 people attended the lecture Thursday night in the main building, Salon Casia. Savaleta talked about 300 years of cultural genesis in Mexico's northern frontier.